Hello there, Sam. What's up, big boy? <laughs> well, you got to steer somehow. So, explain what this boat is and what you're doing right now. This is a three-point hydroplane. Built by Norm Grimes, an AHRA champion. We're going to go scare ourselves. <laughs> This thing is so awesome. We're going river boating. <laughs> So how do you steer this thing? You don't, it goes straight only. The three-point hydroplane, this thing touches, the prop touches, and one more sponson in the front touches, and the rest of the boat just flies. You will find out. <laughs> I think the whole town is gonna find out how loud it is when you start her up. <laughs> well, the title of this video, guys, is Ride the Best, Fuck the Rest. <laughs> just like it says. Tell us about this transmission. The Lenco two speed air shifter. That's what NASCAR uses. How many gears? Two. First and second. Yep, shit and holy shit. <laughs> yeah. 581 block, you said, right? Dart block. Yeah. Dart block, 581, guys. Hydroplane. 1979. Oh, the ducks, they're running away already. They know what's coming. It's a Hondo, right? Hondo. 1979 Hondo. Built into a drag boat. With modern technology. Around 1,500 horsepower, as Sam said earlier. Pretty much a top fuel dragster running on pump fuel. Just nutty. Alright, we'll come back when we're ready to start it. Well, it's all that weight in the back. That's what it's gonna make it look like. It's gonna sink. <laughs> I got a leash on it, guys. Don't worry. Oh, look at the back end. That's awesome. Uh, Sam says it puts out 1,500 horsepower. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's a top fuel dragster engine built by, uh, he said, Frank Grimes. Uh huh. So old school. Yeah. Old, it's a 1979 boat, but, you know, modern engine. Right. I brought my helmet along. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he says it can do 150 miles per hour in three seconds, but, you know, also scare the hell out of you and might kill you. <laughs> so, be careful out there today. Just kind of a warm-up. Get out of the way, will you? All right, Sam, push us off, bud. What are you doing? Got your earplugs in? Oh, not yet, no. <laughs> Get those Sorry, let me get them in. Start paddling, bud. <laughs> Anyways, guys, my name is Marcel Ernie. This is Sam Verderico, fellow pro superbike racers. And this is called being insane on the water. It's gonna be loud.
quick acting, like you said. My ears are ringing with the earplugs. <laughs> so let's let the motor heat cycle real quick. Yeah, for sure. Let it Warm sit up. for 10 minutes. Yep. Kind of like do we just do with the race bike. Same, I get, same yep. idea. Let them heat. Yeah, guys, the idea is the pistons get really hot and the sleeves, but the rest of the motor needs the heat soak to even out. So then you don't have the pistons are swelling, expanding, and everything else is still, you know, contracted. So same idea, get the proper warm up. Yep. With the race bikes, what I do is I start it up and I do a fast idle for high oil pressure and then I let it idle after a minute of fast idle. And then once it reaches coolant operating temperature, say 90 Celsius, 80 Celsius, turn it off, 15 minutes later we start it up and we go on track. SD card's full, so that's worth this. <laughs> what you got in your pocket? Not an SD card, huh. but <laughs> I got my helmet cam. Anyways guys, that we're at 9 minutes here, so this will be part 1 of the 1979 Hondu, or Hundu, man, <laughs> yeah. How hey, do you like the steering? It's just a bar. <laughs> oh, that's what that is. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize you got oil pressure back here too. And then, um, these are the air solenoids. The air pushes the tranny into first and second and neutral. I'll let it all get warmed up. Yeah, can you feel any temperature? Uh, just a little bit. Yeah. I think we can probably start playing. All right, guys. Cheers.